All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is Clown Underground here with another video for you. And I'm going to do a product review. Life is fun. Um, you can have a lot of fun in life if you know how to work it right, you know. Um, I'm going to talk about this uh, Stacker 3 uh, fat burner. And it's uh, with um, Cheeto Sin. So it's a. Uh, Chittison. Um, Chittison is uh, an uh, ingredient in here that is kind of like um, um, it, when you take the pills, you feel full, so you're not eating as much as what you would uh, normally eat. And um, I like the Stacker 3 because of that. And um, I also like the Stacker 2, but I also like this a whole lot better because it does give you the same type of rush that the regular stacker 2 does but it gives you that um, ability to be you know full after you just take a few uh, pills that um, it's recommended on here it says take one capsule you know three times a day or you can take three capsules at once which I take three capsules at once you know because I need the extra boost to get myself going and uh, and ready to work a long hard night so I'm going to recommend um, this here to you guys. And I got this on eBay for $10.49, free shipping. So when you guys go out to drug stores and various um, stores, they want to charge you like $44, something like $39.99 for this bottle here. You can get this stuff on uh, eBay a lot of times for like $10, $10 to $15 a bottle, free shipping. And a lot of times it's uh, they ship it warehouse direct, and that's why that they can ship it so cheaply, and um, sell it to you so so cheaply, because it's warehouse direct. They there's they cut out the middleman. What you're paying for at the drugstore is you're paying for the dude who who shipped it to the drugstore. You're also paying for the uh, all the other uh, upcharges that they have to charge just to sell this product. So you're getting ripped off when you go to the drugstore. I'm going to tell you that. Because I've tried this stuff from the drugstore and it's the same exact thing. And um, yeah, other than it's a whole lot, costs a whole lot more at the drugstore. So, uh, you know, like Walgreens or, um, I, I choose CVS, but I bought um, some stack or two from CVS years ago for $39.99. And I realized how much I was really getting ripped off, you know, by, you know, what I had got ripped off. This was back before I had a computer in order to actually go out and purchase stuff online um, and buy stuff through eBay. eBay is a wonderful, um, you know, um, place to shop, you know, online. I, I love eBay. That's what I like to do is I like to sell on eBay. I, li I love to buy on eBay. And Amazon.com too. Um, so this highly recommended product. Um, this uh, product here, uh, after taking this um, for about a month now, I went from 370 pounds down to 350 pounds now, uh, all in just a month, and I lost like two um, inches off my waist. I noticed that my belt. Uh, I had to make a new notch in my belt because of how much weight I lost. I was like, man, I got to put a new notch in my belt because I got to tighten my belt a lot tighter now. And I was like, okay, well, this stuff's doing its trick, doing its, its good and good things. But I've also, one of the things people don't understand is that you have to cut out a lot of salts. A lot of stuff with a high amount of sodium in them and uh, drink water and uh, you know uh, one of the things that got me into gaining a lot of weight a lot of a lot of weight really fast and I'm gonna tell you that this from experience a lot of weight really fast I'm talking about gaining 20 pounds a month and that was just um, the fact that I was eating uh, pizza on a daily basis I was eating at least four or five slices of pizza a day and I would sit down at, at one setting and drink a whole uh, two liter of coke 
and then I would eat the four to five slices of pizza and then go ahead and go get some chips and eat chips with dip while while sitting in front of the TV and watching a show or, or a movie. I think I was watching a lot of those uh, forensic files. I got in the kick of watching um, crime shows for a while and I was eating a pizza and I would also eat those pizza breads those um, uh, pizza breads are about this long. I'd eat like two of those. They're microwavable. You can get them at Kroger um, for a dollar a piece. And I was like, well, man, I'm eating and getting good. I was eating good, but I was also gaining weight as a result of it. No matter what I did to try to work the weight off, it was, I was still gaining weight because you're consuming way too much sodium. I'm consu I was consuming way too much sodium. So... A decision I had to make the other day was I was stuck in a bad skirmish and I was on my way to work and I was like I wanted to get something to eat real really quick so I was in between fast food I was like well if I'm gonna have to stop fast food I've got Burger King on one side of the parking lot and I've got Taco Bell on the other side so what I did is I cruised into Taco Bell and said well you know what I'm gonna eat two cheesy bean and rice burritos initially and then I'll um, get my three other uh, spicy potato soft tacos and I'll eat those like later in the middle part of the night on my lunch break so I went ahead and ate a cheesy bean and rice burrito and then went ahead and continued to go ahead and go to work and then when I got to work I um, got, a, got my uh, truck loaded and then waited about another couple hours after that, and I started, you know, eating on my cheesy bean and rice burrito, my second one. And so after I ate the first cheesy bean and rice burrito, I was satisfied. And uh, beans are good. It's just uh, if you can go vegetarian, guys, and eat uh, vegetarian diet, it is a really good diet. Um, there's a lot of. Uh, People who have controversies over vegetarians. There was just um, one dude who said, um, you know, fuck them vegetarians and fucking vegetarians. They're a bunch of assholes and stuff. And I'm going to tell you what I have to say about them being assholes and stuff is that um, vegetarians, um, they are a nuisance to people. But I think that... Uh, what vegetarians have to understand is um, that there's people who predominantly eat a lot of meats like they'll go to Burger King and eat Burger King like Whoppers and they'll eat like a cheeseburger you know and then eat like you know a bacon double cheeseburger and that kind of thing but then there's people that um, go really really vegetarian they'll go like eat beans and then they'll eat like lettuce and and tomatoes and stuff like that and then they'll eat a salad you know before work and then uh, you know those kind of things like that and then um, the right way to really eat guys whether you believe it or not whether you really care or not or if you really you know hate me because of what I'm gonna say is uh, you guys really just need to go and read the Bible on what the Bible has to say about how we are supposed to eat and eat according to what the Bible has to say because once you eat according to what the Bible has to say you'll eliminate all that controversy about like whether well, fresh go vegetarian or go one way with one way with the vegetarian type thing or if I you know just say screw it I'm gonna just eat whatever I want to eat and not really care about how other people think about me I'm going to eat my potato chips and eat my ice cream and, and drink my pop and eat candy all day too and not give it, not care about, you know, how other people are going to react to the fact that I'm going to be complaining about, you know, that I feel awful and tired all the time. Well, if you eat according to what the Bible has to say, the Bible actually talks about that there's meats inside the, the meats that are listed that you can eat that are healthy for you. That's because that's what the Bible has to say about it and what other kinds of things that you can eat. Um, there are a lot of things that are forbidden to eat. Now, um, so, I mean, if you eat according to what the Bible has to say, 
you'll be in really good shape, you know, and um, exercise and working hard and um, taking good care of yourself is one of the most important things that you can do. So uh, let's cut this video short and let's get the day started and get wrapped up and uh, make things happen. Happen like, happen like a captain.